All right, so we are here at the Contemporary, as you can see. Today's goal is what? Is to tour and have some holiday cocktails at the different resorts. Yeah. So there's a, what, a pumpkin spice martini, pumpkin no, pie martini. No, pumpkin pie martini here because it's the day after Thanksgiving and it'll be gone tomorrow, I believe. And I really wanted to try it. Um, the kids are hanging out at Peggy at the camper, having a chill day, and we decided to make it date day for mom and dad. Head out, check out decorations, decorations get some different festive, resorts. yeah, festive cocktails. Yep, and maybe some great appetizers. Yeah, let's See have fun. Can get. Sounds good. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's do let's it. Let's check it out. The wave the wave is everything but they also have looks like they didn't have these before this whole new printed up dealy bottle Ooh. of what all they have the drinks here are amazing the bartenders are incredible oh yeah the food Excellent. is unreal all right a mistletoe mule and the pumpkin pie it's so good thank you Pumpkin pie martini. This is friggin' delicious. This is really refreshing and delicious. Amazing. I love the wave. Manny pretty much thinks it's against the law to come here and not get this bacon and eggs. It is. It's like a perfect egg, right? Isn't that what it's yep. called? Over grits, but they're like maple syrup grits. Yeah. And then they, um, Pork, pork belly. belly. It's it's apparently there is an the appetizer thing. that you should get. That I... And then here is yeah, he's telling those other people about it. All right, so this is my crab cakes. I grew up in Maryland. I know a good crab cake. I'm really picky about a good crab cake. This, these are really good crab cakes. So good. It's a perfect. Perfect thing. Have a, a cocktail. Meat, right? A lot of meat. Oh, it's a ton of meat. It's not a lot of bread, but it also has great flavor. That's the key to yeah. Crab and by the way, that slaw is no joke, and these little sauces are great. This, I will say, I don't do pork belly and I don't do eggs cooked that way, but those grits are incredible. Right? Yeah, the whole thing is amazing. Perfect. Oh, perfect. So, what does a perfect egg mean? Like it's not runny? But it's not. It's not. Dry. like a little runny, but
giving me all the right vibes. You know, things like this are amazing to me because it's so stunning and it's as though she's spinning around the dance floor, you know what I mean? I mean you would never want that in like in your home. You know what I mean? Like it's it, but you can just it's really beautiful. It really is. And I like how the outer ones are more like champagne colored and as you go inner, you get the deeper the deeper yellow there. I thought it was a nod to churros. <laughs> <laughs> I love the churro. Have you seen the churro chandelier they have at the Enchanted Rose? By the way, this place is amazing. I got the Grand Cosmopolitan. I know that's kind of boring, but it really sounded like it was going to hit the spot. But here is the star of the show. Manny got the Holiday Old Fashioned. Is this not gorgeous? Does it have a good nose? I bet it, how could it not with that rosemary? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Wow, what a great rich nose. Sure. That rosemary really brings a good pop. Oh, I bet. Mm. Ah, that is very good. You like it? Yeah. So cool. It's just beautiful. You know, it looks like something. I feel like you should be sitting in a study in a brown leather chair. You know what I mean? Like, doesn't it, it just look like... With a like, cigar. And I don't smoke cigars. No, no, no. But, like, doesn't <laughs> but, yeah. it, it just has that very, like, classic gentleman's cocktail look. But the holiday aspect, it also reminds me of... Oh, darn it. What's that restaurant in New York City? Um, that great... Oh, a free bit. It reminds me of that aesthetic. It is stunning. I have to say, that really is gorgeous. Good. Hey, it's delicious. Good. It's not anything I haven't tried before. You know what I mean? It's it's a Cosmo. But there is something in there. I want to look at. I want to read it. I I feel like there might be like a little rose water or something in there. Um, there's definitely something floral, right? Something floral is going on. But it's not so floral that it's. Where were we recently that I had a drink? Oh, I know, at the boathouse. At the boathouse, I got right. that. Um, oh, you got that bath, bath the, water. The, the duck duck rats or whatever. And it, it tasted like a floral yeah. soap almost. Yep. This is not like that. But there is a little floral to it, which I, I, I like it for this occasion here today. Like a hint of floral is yeah, good. Yeah, but I, I don't think I would necessarily like at home add this. Like when we had the mar margarita at the California Grill, we ran out and bought the Ancho Reyes red. You, me you remember? Yeah, the red and green. It was like we had to have this at home to put into our drinks. I don't think I'm running out and buying the rose, whatever this is. But it's still good and it suits the place. And I mean, you know, how do you not have? It's it's a perfect experience. So. Well, and I it's think it's got the Grand Marnier. Um, the Cordon Rouge. Yeah. That's what the yeah, that's that's what, the, that's what I'm picking up on. Yep, that's what the floral is. But it's nice, right? Yeah. It suits the room. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. And yay, awesome server brought us extra coasters because Enchanted Rose goes with our Enchanted Nomads, right? Yeah. Gotta love that. I think yours is the win. I, I wouldn't even bother tasting it because I know I won't like it because I'm just not, I mean, this, I'm just not that gal. But man, that is a holiday cocktail like I've never seen. Okay, we were just chatting and it occurred to me, it's a rose. I think it's a churro. <laughs> All right, how much of your drink have you had? Okay, right, I don't know, right, I don't right, know. Right, not enough. But like, the way that it, spi you know what I mean? Spirals in, it's like the, the petals layers, of a rose. The, the and I bet layers. if you go right underneath of it and look up, I bet it looks like a rose. It's a yellow rose, but I still think, I still, I'm sticking with my belt dress on the ballroom floor. Cause there's just something about it that that's what it, that's what it reminds me of. Okay, All right. I don't know what Vertical is going on. Thing. 
So, I don't know my hair is all wacky. <laughs> so, I asked the waitress, and she said it is Belle's dress. Yep, verdict is in. And that nobody ever says it's Belle's dress. They always say it's a rose. So, my first, I should have just listened to my first interview. You Which know. was that it was Belle's dress with her spinning around the floor. It's not a rose. Yep. And it's not churros. It's not churros. It's Belle's dress. I'm so excited. So, let's show you what we got. We got another round. Yep. Okay. So good. Okay, so I got the Aura in Me. Look at how pretty. I'm just so excited about this. So this is a Nola Silver Dry Gin, St. Germain Elderflower. You know, the liqueur. Then we've got honey, which I'm a little worried about, but I think it's gonna balance out with the pink pepper, cardamom, and lemon. And there's a little bit of that egg white. You can see sort of that little foam edge to it, right? Yeah, a froth. Perfect, perfect. And Manny got this gorgeous sunny margarita, which has in it, um, it's got uh, it's silver tequila, some Grey Marnier, cordon, oh, the cordon, cordon Rouge, Rouge yeah. one, so it'll be a little floral, juices of orange and lime, and agave, and I told him to go a little light in the agave. That, is, so that we'll looks see. so refreshing. Go ahead. You gonna try it? It's so yeah. good. It's very herbal, like, or, you yeah. know, spicy. Not herbal, spicy. Mm, all right, yeah. But it's Ooh, not spicy, cardamom. like, it's not spicy, like... Hot. It's just like meaning it has a lot of spice flavor to it. Yes. Wow. Isn't that, that is nice? Really good. Really good. Now this oh, one, excellent. I would like to make at home. So you know what I mean? Yep. Like whatever they get here, this fresh bread. Look at that pink pepper. Oh, yeah. and cardamom is my jam. So, all right, sunny margarita time. Mm -hmm. Very, that's good. Really? Because you're you usually pretty good. I mean, you know, when you order a margarita, I'm always like, he's yeah, gonna hate it. It's a lot of orange juice in it. But it's it's supposed to be sunny. Yeah. So it's like Florida. So it's gonna have a lot of orange juice. I don't taste the uh, the Grand Marnier, the floral one. You don't? Well, it's probably yeah, it's probably in that. You know, you get, you're getting the orange juice more. Do you like it? Yeah, I do, but I, I don't think I'd order it again. <laughs> <laughs> but you like it? But yeah. It's All not right. like, ugh. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. it's not bad. Looks beautiful. Love that glass. I win. Mine's, although I think your other drink was the winner. But I won this round. So we made it in, as I was saying, 
and our waiter is amazing. The bartender Sergio. Look at this Mickey Mouse. He made me a Mickey Mouse water. Oh, beautiful. Oh, got <gasps> I got a Mickey Mouse margarita too. I love it. And I'll how be did you know? Go, let me know how you like it. Thank you, sir. Lovely. Oh, this is a nice looking margarita too. That is. And the bread is so yummy with the sea salt. Himalayan sea salt. Look at, I'm surrounded by all these lovely little Mickeys. This is so good. So what this is is just tres generaciones and then a little bit of agave and lime juice. Yep. So it's basically a skinny margarita, but we got him to do just a tiny bit of agave. Less agave, no salt. No salt. So, very exciting. You're always um, so picky about your margaritas. Oh, wow. Hey, that is really good. Sergio does a good margarita, huh? Good. All right, yep. all right. This guy, he is amazing. He just oh my gosh. could not so see good. somebody with more heart good in really what he good. does oh, than this man right here. Her. Heart, 100% love of what he does. Amazing. All right, I'm going to taste mine. I have all these Mickey ears. Very good. Really nice. Very good. And the ears just make it all the better. <laughs> right? Oh yeah, so for sure. Look at that. See. He's adorable. That was very sweet. So we got the barbecued shrimp and grits at Narcuzzi's, and Sergio was so sweet, he split it between us. How beautiful is that? I'm excited. Thank you. What do you think? It is so good. He's chewing, and I'll just say. Oh, it is so flavorful. It is and then, so like, flavorful. So many depths of flavor. Yeah. Like you have like kind of the light lightness of shrimp, which is per cooked perfectly, and kind of the, sh the strength of a barbecue sauce and bacon coming in, and the that creaminess salt of, the, in the, bacon. of the, the grits. The, the grits are so creamy. Oh, yeah. It almost is like you're eating butter. Yeah, it's like you're eating butter. And there, there's so a good. subtle sweetness to them. And then that with the saltiness of the bacon. Yeah. And I don't even know what else. It seems as though there's other little bits in here. I don't know what they are, but they're absolutely delicious. Yep. So you kind of want to get a bite of everything, like a really good mix, mixture. Sorry, my plate is a mess, Blend. but this is too good to not just dive into, like oh. dive into it. The high plexiglass was because Narcuzzi's was inside the NBA bubble. In the bubble. Yeah, and so everybody's so tall that their plexiglass is like crazy tall. It is. It's crazy tall. It was so weird. It was it was cool actually, because then it all made sense. It was like, oh yeah, you were in the bubble. Yeah, and that's and, why and it's and so that's tall. why you guys had like crazy level security or you know, um, COVID security. Yeah, right. Whatever that means. But protection. Yes. Go see Sergio. Go see Pete. They are the bartenders. Ask to they sit at the bar. Awesome. Sit at the bar. I, I, we, we ended up, we we're only supposed to be having one drink per place. We had two because we were just enjoying their company that much. And by the way, the best margarita. Yeah. That and we had. Oh. Barbecue shrimp and grits. Delicious. Un unreal. It was so good. It was good. But it was also filling. So, no, like. That is the perfect little like dish to have it. if you just want to go have a cocktail and split a little appetizer to get a taste of Narcuzzi's. Do the barbecued shrimp and grits. It was amazing. Amazing. So we're off to Coronado and I'm excited because this is our favorite. Yep. You get some peel peel. Peel peel. <laughs> Open sleigh, over the fields we go, 
laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to laugh and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. I have to look up. I can't even remember what it is, but I know that it has the. Um, it's got the ancient green. Yeah, the Verde. Yeah, the Verde. And you. Got a Manhattan. Got a Manhattan. It's good. And you love this one. The Altamira? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Spicy cucumber martini is what I have here. And you can smell it from here. You can smell the, the cucumber yumminess. Mm. So fresh. Because the cucumber makes it so fresh. With that ancho reyes. See, whenever I try to use the verde, it's too sharp. I, I like the the rojo, but they do it right. It's so weird because the cucumber is so light and fresh, but then the kick of the spice. <laughs> is that what's balancing it? Yeah. Yeah, the Verde one especially gets sharp, you know. So the yeah, elder flower it does. is what kind of, yeah. Rounds it. Yeah. It's just dynamic. The flavor is dynamic. Wow, it really is. You know huh. what I'm saying? It's so fresh and then yeah. it's so spicy that you're yeah. just like, how is this both in my mouth at the same time? Yeah, like the cucumber so really balances, it like the cucumber softens it so much. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, but I, she's saying that the elderflower is what really is bringing it together. And, and you know, because if you've never tried the Ancho Reyes, the Verde. It's sharp. And it's not sharp in that it's too spicy. It's not at all. It's actually just that it has like a very green taste to it. And so it's, it kind of takes over everything else in the drink. You know what I mean? Whereas the red is just sort of like sitting in a pocket right it's amazing but I love the Verde done this way so excited this is what it's all about shrimp peel peel at the Dahlia Lounge and then down to the toast what? garlic toast heaven 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 you don't even know. It doesn't look like much, but it is everything.
what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right With you and I the future is bright